Hello. Today we will show you how to connect a new display model to the iPhone 5 and how to properly bend flat cables so as not to damage them. Unscrew the two screws that are located on the bottom of the phone near the charging connector. Using a touchscreen removal tool, carefully lift the display module so that you don't break the flat cables which are located in the upper right side of the smartphone. If the module does not lift, you can gently pick it up with a spatula or something similar. Now using a screwdriver, unscrew and remove the three screws of the shielding that covers the display connectors. Note that this shielding is missing in this video because our iPhone is used for testing. Using tweezers, disconnect the connectors and remove the display module. A very convenient way to check the display module is to use a special flat cable for testing. Simply connect it to the display module and the phone. Turn on the phone and test the display and touch screen. After checking everything, disconnect the flat cable for testing from the display module and the phone. Before attaching the display module to the phone, don't forget to remove the home button, home button flat cable, protective screen, speaker and its flat cable, and proximity sensor from the old module. It is worth noting that this video is only about correct connection of the display module and not about the complete process of replacing the module. A lot of people bend flat cables near the display or touch screen, which can lead to breakage of the spare part. The correct way to do this is to bend the flat cable near its center. You need to press the flat cable to the display and then bend it. Connect the display module to the phone. If you did not use the flat cable for testing beforehand, remove the protective film only when the new display module is fully tested. Now I will demonstrate how the majority of people connect the display module for testing. This is often done without bending the flat cable. As a result, it bends by itself near the display or touchscreen and breaks, which leads to display failure, touchscreen failure, and many other problems. If you have any questions concerning the iPhone display module connection, please contact our technical support. Thank you for watching. Please like and share this video, subscribe to our channel, and have a nice day.